Every I, night I dream of freedom. And then I open my eyes and I'm in the same familiar jail cell. I take a few minutes to swallow my disappointment and begin my morning push-ups. Maybe tomorrow I'll wake up somewhere else. I've not lost hope. This is important, especially if you are at home and you're not yet as successful as you want to be. If you don't have your life in exactly the place you want it, if you still feel trapped, whether it's financially or some other way, you wake up and you must be dreaming of freedom. But when your eyes open after the disappointment, swallow the disappointment, take a minute and look around you and say, I deserve more than this. But then what's the important point? You must begin to work instantly. I did not miss a single day of training in that jail cell. I didn't sit and say, I'm too depressed. I'm too sad. It's too cold in this freezing cell. I didn't eat enough because it's Ramadan. No excuses. Every single day we trained, we woke up disappointed. We swallowed the disappointment and we got the training every single day. If we could train in a freezing cold jail cell in Romania, the cockroaches all around us with no idea when we're going to be allowed freedom once again you can train in a nice gym air-conditioned gym in california what is your excuse if you imagine something truly and fully if you truly completely imagine it to a degree your body will react to it let me give you an example if you truly imagined yourself at war day after day you imagined yourself under attack defeating the matrix agents you're top g you're walking through life the agents are coming you're doing aikido and you're destroying them and you're the most powerful man in the world if you truly imagine that and felt it in your mind to the point where you thought you were there and you felt it in your body i would guarantee you after x amount of time you would have a higher testosterone level and your muscles would be stronger than if you didn't i will guarantee you that